beautiful soul. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome. If you're new to the channel, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. My name is Christine. Welcome back to an All Signs Tarot reading. All Signs Love reading. All Signs Love Tarot reading. <laughs> and as is pretty much always the case with the Tarot Closet, All Signs Love Messages reading channeled love messages from your person, messages from their higher self. So their feelings for you, how they feel about you, how do you feel about them, what's going on in the connection, what's going on with you, what's going on with your person. This is a timeless reading. You are here when you're meant to be here. So welcome. Ow, I just pulled my hair. So welcome again. I'm really glad you are here. This is a faded connection. It means there is a message here for you. Speaking of which, let's see the energy that's coming in. So we have the Seven of Cups and the Lover's Card. And I am feeling this energy in reverse, that this is somebody that has had some commitment issues, whether they are just around, you know, being afraid of commitment, or other, there are other things involved, like other choices, other, other things, whether it's people or work or money or whatever, who is revealing, well, yeah, they're coming back in here, but they're all, there's also a, a revealing energy that they love you, they still love you, and I can also see that you still love them. It's the lover's card. Gemini energy, Venus energy, of course, and this is Archangel Raphael, the angel for healing what's broken. So they're preparing for something here. Soulmate energy is really strong. If you're on a twin flame journey, that energy is here. I know it's not going to be for everybody. Are they coming in here with some kind of offer? Let's see what is going on. Are they just wanting to declare their love? Is there communication? All the playlists are linked below in the description. Of course, the Your All Signs Tarot Readings, Love Tarot Readings, Messages from Your Person is the playlist. You'll also find all 12 zodiac signs. And if you are on a Twin Flame journey, there are very long very in-depth Twin Flame readings below and a lot more, so feel free to explore if you're inspired to do so. Look at this energy coming in. So the Lovers is back, and it's really connecting, actually, too. Here with the Six of Wands, they're definitely coming in here. Lovers card, again, strong validation. Six of Wands, Jupiter, and Leo energy. So they want to communicate with you. They, It's kind of like a lot of bravado around it, too. Look, there's camera flashes going off. It's like a victorious energy, like wanting to be... They they really want to say something to you, and they, they really want to make sure you hear it. It's like some bravado, like a recognition. They're really wanting to make sure that they get this across to you. Is this how they're coming in to tell you they love you? Is there some kind of huge sort of, I guess you could say a romantic proposal. Are we getting some Knight of Cups, Ace of Cups energy, Two of Cups, maybe? Let's see, because this can also just be around a message here. There's some, like a victory energy, something that has been overcome. Or is this just coming in after whatever's happened? I'll tell you, it's really clear that you still love each other and they're planning something. Okay. This is a general tarot reading. It's not going to resonate for everyone, everything. So always take what resonates for you and let the rest go. And if it's not your reading, it's not your reading. And there's a lot of readings down there in the All Signs tarot readings, the readings for the collective. So feel free to explore if you are inspired to do so. If you feel like, no, maybe that's not my reading. So these are yours. I wasn't quite ready, but let's get them in because they're here. Nine of Swords, High Priestess Energy, the decision here in the partnership placement. Yeah, if somebody's not sleeping. Your person has not been sleeping, but we also see they're getting ready to make some major move here. <laughs> not Lover's Card coming in twice, leaving you both with, with the decision. Really strong validation, a decision that's going to be coming out of this because we are also seeing the High Priestess Energy. Divine feminine energy, cancer energy, a, a revealing energy, and of course, a connecting to intuition and intuitive energy and trusting yourself. Your, these are your gut instincts. Gut instincts, excuse me, are your guardian angels. So there is a decision coming in. Somebody's not sleeping, and you could see that in that six of wands. It's a really fast energy, and that's Jupiter energy, and it's the planet of prosperity and expansion, so the moving energy 
bringing in some hope and some optimistic energy. You could say wisdom. So yeah, they have something to say, but also luck. And I always think of luck as, as timing, you know, so all of a sudden it's like, here they are. They're ready here. They're getting out of, because they're, they're, they've been all up in their head. Look, it's like haunted. It's bringing in that song. The Night We Met by Lord Hodon, Take Me Back to the Night We Met, like haunted by the ghost of you. Not not sleeping very well, get, getting out of that energy and getting on the move. What are they coming in here with? An offer for sure. Something's coming in. <laughs> They're planning something kind of unexpected that's going to be kind of leaving you both with a decision. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us what else we need to see here today. Aho. Whoa, the way that just came in. Justice. Is there anything else there? No. The fool in reverse. That's where their energy is the strongest. What's been going on here? Look. So yeah, there's, wow, there's a little bit of, so up in their head, what happened in this three of cups in reverse? This might be somebody too who was participating in a little bit of something. We're going to leave it at that. But this is Mercury and Cancer energy. So it's the lack of communication. But it can also be that there was an actual something that went on in the way of communication, whether it was in front of other people or it was around or it was just by a message or a phone call and whatnot. This is where their energy is the strongest, and it's the fool in reverse. Look, it just wanted to bring in, these are coming in, the high priestess. Seven of Pentacles in reverse, the Ten of Cups. So we see what they have, wow, on their mind. But maybe that's why it felt so like I'm coming in, I'm coming in, I'm coming in like fast energy because you have one foot, maybe two feet out the door. I mean, I kind of can't blame you, you know. I can see here that they've been they've been in some arrogance and ignoring, like not responding to something, a message or a phone call, maybe hiding some truth because we see that being revealed Justice is here, Libra and Venus energy. So this truth coming out, which is going to change everything. This is a master number. It's new beginnings. I mean, it's connected here with the full energy in reverse, Aquarius and Uranus energy. So it's like some careless energy. It's not responding. It's, it's you know, when you think of the fool, of course, the, the, the fool, it's like some foolish energy. Really, I feel like it's it was some in ego kind of immature energy somehow but look what they're coming in here with and you're definitely you've got your defenses up and those are yours i'm pretty sure we'll get them in just a moment they're coming in with the ten of cups and the empress look at this alignment so this truth venus energy libra energy this is also the the rebalancing so it's trying to not come in with their ego coming in with higher self energy we all have divine feminine divine masculine energy, of course. And you can't be honest with another person if you're not being honest with yourself. So this is, that's coming through of rebalancing their energies of being honest. And in fact, what I really like is coming in here also with the Empress is that it really isn't any, a very different vibe that they're coming in, emotionally available and open. They're definitely coming here to speak the truth. And it is around some timing here. The truth is they love you. We already see that. But what else went on? Because there may have, I do feel like there's some ignoring energy, the star in reverse, you know, Aquarius and Uranus energy. And we're seeing that in the full card too in reverse. And that's kind of an apathetic energy. And here in the arrogance and the star not responding, this is around not communicating for sure. Uh, they are definitely up in their head. And we saw that with the lover's card and the six of wands that they do want to communicate. I'm just wondering if there's something they've seen or heard, or may maybe you've had an ultimatum, or maybe you've gone or made as they've seen or heard or read something because they're, they're, I feel like they're getting like anxious and restless. Something went on in that three of cups around your communication that has you sort of in defensive mode still look seven of wands. You know, that is Mars and Leo energy, and it's a protection. Look, there's a sphere, I think it's called, here kind of in a cave underwater, which is emotional energy. It's the wands energy, but you can see. You're here in the divine, so around some timing, but lots of emotional energy and defensive energy here aimed at the sharks wanting to maybe get back to this boat. And it's coming here also with the Seven of Pentacles, 
in reverse, which is like both one foot or both feet out the door of just being sick of waiting, you know, all the time and effort that you've put in. And you can, I feel like they're kind of being fast about it because you also see that even in the Empress energy, there's elephants here. And of course, this is Taurus energy, which connects with elephants. They are Taurus, <laughs> connected to family energy, the mother earth, the healing energy, the new beginnings, the fertility, could even be there's some, some family energy around parenting and other and family members. I mean, it's connecting right with the Ten of Cups, of course, but they're very strong and they can push through obstacles. Also gentle giants, you know, there's the transformational energy because of course the Empress, more divine feminine energy here. So we'll talk about that in just a moment, is able to create and grow anything. It's fertility, it's new beginnings. And she's bringing your person in here, again, emotionally available and open and really wanting to speak the truth. And it's about this 10 of cups. So were you in the 10 of cups? Were you building the 10 of cups? Were you on the way to the 10 of cups, building a life together? Were you, um, cause that can also just be around introducing families or blending families or taking something for example, to another level, because they're coming in with that lover's energy and it feels really like here I am energy coming with that six of wands, like really wanting to announce <laughs> their message or their phone call or their presence. And like, are they, because it's coming here in the upright. So it's the end, I feel, of course, of a cycle here of no contact, no communication and or in separation and a renewal. What exactly does that mean? Because they have been not responding, I feel. They haven't been honest, they haven't responded. And you've been up in your head too, but now it looks like you have some feet out the door. So they might be worried about that. And a couple of things coming in here, seven of wands and the seven of pentacles in reverse, that's 77 and that's like a, a realigning energy of getting on the right track. It's telling me that energies are shifting here. There's a realignment going on for you. So exactly, you're because there's like indecision here on one hand it's like defensive energy i'm not sure i want to talk and this is like i'm out the door but it doesn't feel like it's quite in alignment either like you're not really sure yet either like maybe willing to hear them out maybe not right the second or you haven't been but that is here and they're coming together and actually they're, they're staying together here and connecting with them coming in here kind of with, I feel, with something around this connection on, on their mind, the Ten of Cups again. What does that mean? The Ten of Cups is deducing, of course, into a one, and that's around new beginnings and the potential is still here. You know, this is a really, I like this energy. It's a very con contented energy and love and family and, again, building a life or rebuilding or coming back on the table. And it's connected to the truth around that, justice. So, Libra and Venus energy, this truth coming out that's going to really be a win-win for everybody, fate, karmic law, spiritual justice. And this 10 deduces into a one, and connecting with justice here, and that's one, one, one. And it really is a strong energy of beginnings and trusting your intuition here because something you, we, oh, this is, this is just saying, please take me. Something here is changing around your person. Look, so that seven of cups energy that I felt in reverse, didn't I see that? I feel like I did. In any case, it's a validation for me is coming here with the emperor in reverse. There's the ego because this is the clarity. Now it's coming out of whatever commitment issues they had. So that is what they're coming in here with, which there's some, I'm not so, so sure how I feel energy. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Look, wow. So not quite ready yet, even around your person. They're, they're trying, they're rebalancing some energy here because it's a strong energy here in the six of swords and reverse in the six of wands. It came back six of swords, Mercury and Aquarius energy. Of course, Mercury is the planet of the mind, the planet of communication. And this is like a stagnant energy around the communication, which is right here in the Six of Wands. So it's like they're losing a little bit of confidence here. Why? Is there, have they seen something, heard something? Have you said something? Did they, what, did what they do kind of put a little bit of fear into what they have to come here with the truth? They are in some ego and shadow, but the Seven of Cups, you know, the commitment issues, whether it's just around commitment or there's other people around here is now in reverse, Venus and Scorpio energy. So it's like the clarity 
you know, they know how they feel now. Now they're just kind of holding on to it and they know they need to come here and be honest with you. There might be some power struggles going on here. I'm not really sure, but yeah, I think there are actually. But this is definitely in some ego energy, you know, the lack of higher self energy, which is what I feel like they're trying to get into because there is that onk. Emperor energy, divine masculine energy coming here in reverse. And we have the Empress and the Empress and the Emperor here. Yeah, and that's divine feminine, divine masculine energy, yin yang energy. So it's the imbalance here. It's still in some ego and and not totally able to bring the truth yet, but they're definitely trying to. And it could be because when it does happen, it is kind of fast because they're seeing or hearing something. But you're both here, look. And also the Empress, the counterpart is, is here saying, hey, you know, be honest. Share your feelings because they're hiding a lot of feelings here. There is some like push and pull around that somehow, you know. And some immature energy coming in, some ego. What can I say? The Empress, hey, you know, be honest here. Let's come in in a different way. So that's the the misalignment in their energy. And that's what I wanted to say too with the six of, of cups and the six of swords. That's the 66. And that's literally an energy of being out of balance. You know, so, and this is coming in and this is the balancing energy here, the truth. And it's also... For me, with you, with both of your one foot or both feet out the door, feeling defensive, like, I need you to be honest here. This, I need this total honesty from you before anything. And that's the other thing about this energy is that you're both here. It's the counterpart. And we all have divine feminine and divine masculine energy. It's not about gender. You know that. It's, you know, it's within us all. But this is the counterpart. You know, the counterpart to the emperor, the empress, the counterpart to the empress, the emperor. So you're both here in this. And you could, it could be that you were in a long-term connection or had built a life or you were in the process of that or it was on the table and you're both still here for it, I feel. But it really is relying on them coming in here with the truth because they are trying to come in here and be honest and be open. I like this energy and open up. And they're wanting to restart something here, but obviously this truth has to come with it. The Empress, the Ten of Cups, and Justice, is, it's a super, super strong message here. But the long-term energy of the Emperor and the Empress, they do, they are together, and there are some, yeah, that power struggle energy is strong. When it works, it really works. <laughs> when the Emperor and the Empress are not working, it's really not working. <laughs> you know, it's, it can get really intense. So, yeah, but so there may have been an ultimatum, of course, or they're just seeing something, but they also just know they need to get out of this ego here because it's it's dragged things on. I feel like it's kept them from, yeah, not res they're not responding, um, ignoring things. But we see, look, they have the clarity. It's like haunted by it, waking up and here with the seven of cups in reverse. Like, yeah, I know. I know, I know. So now I just feel like it is a matter of the ego, the two of wands in reverse. Yeah, it's like the, the slow down energy here. There's the action of swords and interesting. Okay, so yeah, it's the two of pentacles here. No, excuse me, it's the 10 of pentacles here coming in reverse. Yeah, that's like the... Well, look, that's what happened here with the full in reverse. It's the breakup energy. It's the kind of what happened to the Ten of Pentacles here between this emperor and this empress. What put this in reverse? It, like, it stopped things from moving. So again, the long-term energy is really, it's strong, it's here. So whether you were already in a long-term commitment or you were heading for it or it was on the table, we can see that it just stopped, you know? It's like things weren't moving. It's connected directly to this fool in reverse here too, who was just maybe afraid or was just kind of running from it. There's a careless energy, an apathy energy here. Coming in really in a different vibe, but it is it is delayed. It's minor arcana energy, but it's because they're rebalancing things here. They're still in some ego. It's the two of wands, and it's in reverse here. Aries and Mars energy. And Mars, of course, is the planet of action and and drive and completion. 
you know, and you've been waiting for it. So it's ending the no contact, no communication and or in separation, being honest, being uh, the truth, communicating. And of course, what else? Because that completion energy, it also connects us to the world card. So it's could be physical travel, but also just the movement toward each other, the decision coming together. And well, yeah, also the goal, what's the goal and the connection? Like, what are we doing? You know, this page of wands is coming here in reverse and it's more of the struggling energy. It's kind of like an immature energy, you could say. And it's, look at that. So that just put the two of wands here with in reverse with the high priestess, which is a two, and that's a 22. And that's a master number and that's a transitional energy. So it's like a second chance for you a second chance to I feel like for the ton of cup, cups here that is here but it has the, the the truth has to come out here I don't I'm not exactly sure I'm not sure exactly what that's around is it just around the lovers that we saw coming in twice is it just the truth of how they feel that they love you because I can see you both love each other and they're wanting to come in here lovers card twice ten of cups the empress justice I mean it, it it's that much is clear, but is there is there something else that went on, you know, here in justice? Is there something that they did, you know? Fate, karmic law, spiritual justice. Is there was there another third party somehow? Your person definitely in their head. They're a third party, but was there physical like around another person? In any case, it could just be anything, money, work, but the fear, the immaturity around what to say because they really want to talk here. It's the, the Knight of Swords, Libra and Mercury energy. Uh, connecting also here with, Le uh, with the Libra energy and Justice and Venus. And, you know, this is just coming in here with a whole lot to say, like it's going to change everything. And it, it can be a little bit conflicting here. You know, that's the sword energy. There's can be definitely some conflicting energy here but it's also the transactional energy and it's the truth and it's information and it's clarity in the relationship and clarity also around what happened here so that's maybe why they're a little bit afraid and will just eventually just just go for it because you might already be out the door here maybe you're just coming in and checking in but there there isn't that energy of being yeah look in the immature energy the page of wands in reverse is connecting with that energy and some ego in the emperor in reverse who's connected to justice. You know, it's like having some problems with the truth. Ace of wands, four of pentacles, four of wands in reverse. Okay, so it can be that there was obviously this some, some energy of somebody leaving an actual dwelling home, you know, but also just around the connection and some arguing energy. You know, the six of swords, Mercury and Aquarius energy is kind of like a stagnant energy around communicating. Here with the six of wands, again, sort of a lack of, of confidence around it. So it's almost like they're maybe trying to write a message or just talking themselves up, whatever. But this four of wands in reverse Venus and Aries energy and it's connecting with the Three of Cups here too. So it's a strong energy of some discord that that went on here, you know, and it could be for those of you that are, have that connection in, in the physical as in like you could see each other or you shared an apartment or even not shared, but somebody like leaving, maybe even some door slamming, but it could even be leave, a leaving home connection. But if that's not the case for you, then I mean, it's still here with the Three of Cups and the Four of Wands just the, the communication breaking down, hanging up, or just not communicating while well, arguing energy. But if this was in person, it's strong. I mean, you can actually see it here, maybe even around some friends and family. So they haven't let this go, but they are still trying to entangle something. Is that just the ego? Maybe. It could be something more too. But Four of Pentacles, Sun and Capricorn energy. You know, it's this long-term energy. So th this... Divine Masculine Emperor energy that's in reverse here. And the Empress here and the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. We can see that you were in a long-term energy or you were working toward it and it was on the table. They're still wanting that. It's just they, they definitely need to 
be honest um, here for sure, and about how they feel, which we saw that in the lover's card. You know, that's that really is an I love you also. But it's coming in twice, and it's a strong validation of a decision that I feel like you're going to be making, you know, together. Because some of you again, are maybe even already gone or out out the door. And that might be also why we're seeing this Ace of Wands here because it is kind of a fast energy, you know? Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius have just, I better go. I better move energy before, before my person, before, and it's connecting to the Empress, I have to say. Remember, it's not about gender. It's just, a, you know, the Emperor and the Empress. They're, it's the counterpart. So that energy is here. But it is connecting with this energy of also like protective energy. I don't want to be hurt. I'm sick of waiting. You know, either already gone or getting ready to go. So yeah, this this Knight of Swords, it might be why the, with the Ace of Wands, look at this catty corner that it's coming in so fast when it does because it's sort of like, am I too late? Can I, am I too late for this? Because... They have, they're still holding on to that pentacle, that commitment energy. There, there's still a connection. You can see it. But really, where, where are you at with it? Of course, you have free will. Everyone has free will, energies, outcomes. They can and they will and they do change. The future, whoa, is not fixed. There's the emperor again. I'm not reading Oracle in reverse, by the way. But interesting that it did come in that way. And yeah, it's the father card. It's the emperor again. So... And that was the other thing, the High Priestess, Divine Feminine Energy, the Empress, Divine Feminine. I mean, there's, we go into all the energies here, but just in particular here with the Major Arcana cards, that there, there could be that there is another Divine Masculine Energy and or Divine Feminine Energy here that's, that's played a part in this. And as I say that, look what's at the bottom of the deck. It's the divine. So divine connection, divine timing, and a strong energy as I'm sitting here talking about all the look and the release energy is coming here below it. It, it could be around another connection. You know, that was part of what was going on here. I know that's not for everybody, but it is here. But interesting, high priestess, empress, emperor really twice here and this divine is almost like bringing in the empress again bringing in the high priestess again divine timing divine connection there is a release here i was feeling some devil energy too for someone it could be around yeah like let's say um, vices <laughs> you know like maybe some addictive behavior it could be around money work whatever but this releasing energy Interesting. So that could be something that's going on here as well. But if you are still here, this is what they're, they, I just feel like there is some timing too here. Like they, they better get a move on. Okay. I wasn't even ready as I like to move it some more just to kind of get into the energy and I'm not reading it in reverse. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us what we need to see. Aho. The sun and the strength. Wow. Both Leo, both source, the sun energy, working things out, a happy outcome, a new beginning. Of course, illumination. I mean, that's the sun coming up. It's a chance for things to grow here. And it's connecting with the Empress, who is all about creating and growing new beginnings, abundance, Venus energy, matters of the heart, strength energy here. Uh, wow working out what they need to work out here. Look, it's like eight. Of course, it's an action number. That's also around some karma. It's also around infinity, which is connected to Libra. So both the truth and the balancing of their energies, which we know they need to do. They're struggling with some ego here, I have to say. And the truth, around the truth. And that's also balance and renewal. And it's also telling me that there is a strong connection between you. In fact, it sometimes really can get really emotional. And that's not surprising. The lovers came in twice, which is also a validation from both of your energies. The emperor and the empress here and the strength. I mean, there's the emperor twice. Oh, that camera makes me crazy. I'm not sure when that ended. Oh my gosh, that drives me crazy. So just a quick little recap, just in case. Bear with me <laughs> in case.
case you already heard it, that that strength energy that came in, the sun and the strength, both Leo, both source, God, God as the universe, the divine, but working out this karmic karma, this karmic debt situation here, getting the strength to, to do that and to come and balance their energies for sure, to be honest with themselves so they can be honest with you. But it's also a strong validation of the energies between you, which I feel there's a lot of emotional energy between you and sometimes can create some power struggles. It can be a lot. And that's all that the energy here and the, the empress and the emperor and the high priestess, the emperor here twice is what was going on. We have the high priestess here. We have the divine energy, which is connecting us to the high priestess and the empress. And then as I looked up at the camera, I was holding the abundance, which is another connection to the Empress. Taurus energy, Venus also bringing in Libra and the creation of anything and growing. And it's around love, new beginnings, matters of the heart here. So I don't feel like you've let each other go. And actually what I wanted to say around the... Lover's energy is that those two lovers card. It was also kind of an indication of both of you, you know, and yeah, the love is definitely here. I don't think it's a matter of that. There is a decision and, it, and, and we're not seeing judgment here, but I am kind of feeling that final decision sort of energy. Clearly you love each other and you have a past together. However long or short that was, there is a soul connection as well, but the long-term energy Things got cut off, whether you were already in it or you were moving toward it. You're both still here and there is a lot of potential, you know, obviously. Are you still here, you know? The truth is, is that enough? I guess you could say, is that enough to save this is what I'm hearing. That's it. Gratitude. What is that around? Grateful for the lesson for those of you maybe going. Look, the wisdom, the owl coming in, guardian of the night, more divine energy. Also, your person grateful. Realizing what they lost. Yeah, look, the wildness. It's like a wolf moon. You know, when full moon, everybody gets kind of crazy. <laughs> a lot of emotions are being revealed. A lot is being revealed around the full moon. That's the subconscious and it's what's been hidden. So there's a lot of that emotional energy here. And like I said, there's a strong emotional energy between you that sometimes between this emperor and the empress, I feel like can get really intense. Inspiration, sort of like that the energy here of the Ace of Wands and even the Knight of Swords here, the communication. Look at the roots, the the commitment energy, the pentacle energy, perseverance with strength, wildness, howling at the moon, literally brought in, connecting with the Knight of Swords to the communication. They really want to communicate here. Spiritual guidance. Feather is here and angel is near. We know Archangel Raphael has come in twice, the angel for healing, sort of bringing you back together for healing for whatever, wherever this is going to go. You know, again, we, judgment is coming through for me, Archangel Gabriel. It could be that that's what this is because I'm feeling the energy, the cards and matter for me, whether it's here or not, because it does feel kind of like a final decision, you know, like bringing you back together, what, whatever this is going to be, because you very clearly have love for each other still and there is a decision coming here. It's also, of course, connecting to higher power higher power, higher self, spiritual guidance. And the Empress here, of course, is strongly connected here to the sun energy, creation and growth and abundance, new beginnings. Goodness and storm. So it's like what's coming out of this, what's coming after everything that's happened here after the storm. Whatever happened, it could be there was some kind of tower energy here, you know. Definitely that energy is around some dishonesty. And I do feel like it's connected to some kind of family energy, whatever that means. But coming out of here, yeah, it's like what's coming after that. It's like there's a lot of rainbow energy here. Mirroring here too. Look, reflections. I think this is a good thing, this communication and 
there's definitely a decision here and some kind of major resolve between two people that have some kind of history that love each other. But, you know, there has just definitely been something going on that, that needs to be owned and discussed. I want to bring in some channeled love messages. Messages from their higher self. I want to bring in actually a little bit of tarot closet first. So let's move the energy. <laughs> I'm making kind of a mess. Sorry. So that's it. That's all that wanted to come in. I care too much what people think. Hmm. Something else going on, other connections, other people. I'm afraid you will reject me. I have so many regrets. You are my other half. So that's that lover's card energy. That's also the emperor and the empress energy. And even here in the strength energy, being guided back to you. And yeah, it's the, you are my other half. It's that strong connection between you. A lot of chemistry is strong, strong connection. Strong energy, I should say, that sometimes can get overwhelming. I'm afraid you will reject me. I have so many regrets. It's kind of coming in here with the Knight of Swords. This page of Wands in reverse and the Emperor in reverse, who's a little bit um, also connecting with the Emperor in the upright here. Let's not forget making things happen here. Wanting to get their way. Who regrets how um, the ego that they were in, some decisions made. Out of ego and shadow, I really want to hold you so there's an energy of <laughs> haven't let you go. That's interesting. Four of Pentacles, that energy. I haven't let you go and I really want to hold you. Bringing in some physical longing, you could say. You are perfect. Bringing in some flattery. You are the love of my life. That is the kind of fast energy, like they need to say that to you and the lovers coming in. The Knight of Swords. My world is dark without you. There is the sun. Connecting here to you, either being gone or, get, or maybe leaving. Not wanting you to go. Look, please never give up on us. This is a good thing. I know I care too much what people think. I spy on you. That's Page of Swords energy. <laughs> watching. If you haven't blocked each other, it could be on social media. If you are connected with friends and family, they could be asking. You radiate light. Other people about you. I need you. I miss you. That's the wolf howling here. That emotional energy. I think of you every day. I'm sorry I ghosted you. Up in their head about that. Worried energy is really strong. Like, did they just totally mess it all up? Wasn't that? No. Okay, never mind. I know we met for a reason. That is the Wheel of Fortune energy. Fate and destiny. Controlling what you can, letting go of what you can synchronicity, you know, being drawn together. I feel your energy, speaking of which. I close my eyes and imagine you're here with me. Your last channeled love message, message from their higher self. I'm sorry I hurt you. Yeah, it's going here. Beautiful soul, thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed your reading as much as I enjoyed reading for you. I would be so grateful if you took the time to like today's video and subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you have not. This really helps to keep my channel moving and healthy so I can bring you readings here on YouTube. So thank you so much. I'm sending you love and light and hoping for the best outcome for you and looking forward to seeing you at another love reading. Until then.